Hi everyone, marhaba. This is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. This is a Lebanese Arabic lesson dedicated to my Lebanese Arabic students. Before I begin, um, let me ask about you guys. I hope you are all coping well. I hope you're staying safe with this virus. Um, I think we are all dealing with the unknown and sometimes it has the tendency to make some of us anxious. So let's try to stay positive and hope for the best to come um, and let's try to be there for each other this is going to be a lesson inspired by the quarantine um, i created a conversation between me and my mom but my mom is not next to me unfortunately but i pretended she is next to me and we are talking about going for a walk and um taking a breath of air outside okay I will turn my camera and I will show you my screen I will be reading it on my own it's a conversation between a girl and her mom see you in a bit all right guys let's begin I'm gonna be here at the top of your screen so you don't feel that you are alone I will start by reading fast because as I always tell you, it's important for you guys to have a feel of how we actually speak in Lebanese Arabic when we don't try to slow things down. So the first time I'm going to read it very fast, I actually the normal speed. And then the second time round, I can read a little bit slower. And in the end, we will break every single detail down. So don't worry. Let's begin. <laughs> لا ماما خليكي بالبيت دخيلك بلاها الدهر اليوم بخاف عليكي تلقط الفيروس أو شي يا ماما لازم أدهر شوي وشم هوا المشي كتير مهم للدورة الدموية ولنقوي مناعتنا يلا قومي ننزل مع بعض نمشي تحت البيت شي ربع ساعة ومنطلع يلا أو ليك؟ أكيد ما بيسوى نضل قاعدين هيك كل النهار أكل وتلفزيون لازم نتحرك شوي طيب بس ما منطول كتير بعدين أكيد ما منقرب على حدا حتى الجيران منسلم من بعيد لبعيد طيب يلا قومي خلصيني هزي تيزك على القليلة منغير شوية جو Let's read it with Latin script دي خلقي بالبيت رح أدهر أمشي شوي زهقت من الحجر or I can say الحجر المنزلة لا ماما خليك بالبيت دخيلك بلي هالدهر اليوم بخاف عليك تلقط الفيروس أو شي يا ماما لازم أدهر شوي وشم هوا المشي كتير مهم للدورة الدموية ولنقوي مناعتنا يلا قومي ننزل مع بعض نمشي تحت البيت شي ربع ساعة ومنطلع يلا أو ليك؟ أكيد ما بيسوى نضل قاعدين هيك كل نهار أكل وتلفزيون لازم نتحرك شوي طيب بس ما منطول كتير بعدين أكيد ما منقرب على حدا حتى الجيران منسلم من بعيد لبعيد طيب يلا قومي خلصيني هز تيزك على القليلة منغير شوية جو يلا let's break it down I will reread the first sentence and then I'm gonna explain every single detail let's begin دي خلقي بالبيت رح أدهر امشي شوي زهقت من الحجر or زهقت من الحجر المنزلة دي خلقي دي خلقي is a very nice expression actually and it's unique to Levantine Arabic in standard Arabic you notice I write it داق خلقي but we don't pronounce it داق خلقي we say دي خلقي we actually do have the word in standard Arabic which is خلق and we have the verb daqa but in Lebanese Arabic we pronounce this as de as you can see here de and then khalq is pronounced as khil khil e khil e here so what does this mean it's actually difficult to translate it the translation is I'm fed up de khil e I'm fed up but here the literal translation is not I'm fed up. Let me explain what this means. De means it's tightened. For example, if you have a shirt and you put on weight, you can say 
de it amis te amis is a feminine word so in that case i use the feminine verb i say de it here i'm using the verb de to tighten in the masculine form why because the word khil here is a masculine verb noun sorry and khil by the way means mood in this context in another context it can mean creation but here it means mood and when you say de khil literally you're saying my mood tightened it really makes no sense in english but in arabic when you say my mood tightened it means that you are saying my mood reduced or my patience reduced basically that's why i am fed up so next time you are fed up of something or you are tired of a situation or maybe you've been home all day and you need to change and you need a breath of air you say literally you are saying in the house you notice here we have b in arabic b and then we have il and we have bit you are saying in the house but we don't say bil bit no we join this bil in bil bil bit in the house which means at home so i'm fed up at home basically i'm fed up at home rah udhar imshi shway udhar is i go out rah udhar means i will go out rah udhar imshi imshi means i walk Rah udhar imshi, I will go out, walk, which means I will go walk outside, okay? Rah udhar imshi, shway, shway means a little bit. Rah udhar imshi, shway, I will go out for a walk a bit. And in, in Arabic, you say, I will go out, walk a bit. De khil ibil bit, rah udhar imshi, shway, zhit min al hajr. Or I can say zhit min al hajr al manzile. Now the technical term for it is hajr manzile or il hajr il manzile. Quarantine il hajr al manzile. But because we're using the word very often now, given the situation with the coronavirus, we're not saying always al hajr al manzile. It sounds a bit formal. We're just saying al hajr al hajr. Zhit min al hajr. Zhit means I got bored. In Arabic, we don't have the verb, I got bored. We're not saying it this way. We are actually saying, I bored it. Again, it doesn't make sense in English, but in Arabic, it does. You are saying, I bored it, which means I got bored. Zhit means I got bored. I got bored of, min means of or from. And then il means the, and hajar means quarantine. So basically, I'm saying here, I got bored of the quarantine. Zhit min al hajr or zhit min al hajr al manzile. Okay? Let's repeat this sentence. De khil ibil bait. Actually, when I say the sentence, I will pause so that you have time to repeat after me. Okay? De khil ibil bait. Rah udhar imshi shway. Zhit min al hajr or zhit. من الحجر المنزلي. Here, every time you have من plus إل, which means of the, you can kind of pronounce it منل instead of منل because you're abbreviating it. So here you can say منل منل زهقت منل, and that's how we pronounce it most of the times. So if you say منل, you will sound more native, basically. زهقت من الحجر or زهقت من الحجر. Okay. And then the mom replies and says, لا ماما, لا ماما, خليكي بالبيت دخيلك, بلي هالدهر اليوم, بخيف عليك طلقت الفيروس أو شي. Let me break it down. You notice here the mom is saying, لا ماما, no mom. We have this habit. When moms are actually talking to their children, they call them mom. <laughs> it's a bit weird because the children call their moms mom, but the mom also calls her children mom. So for example, if I if I want if I'm calling my mom, I say mama, and then she answers, she replies and says she says to me, Hey mama. Yes, mom. Okay? This is how moms do it. And dads too. 
So here the mom is talking and the mom is actually replying لا ماما no mom لا ماما خليك بالبيت دخيلك خليك بالبيت دخيلك خليك means stay in the imperative form so in the imperative form if it's masculine you say خليك if it's feminine you say خليك and if it's plural if you're talking to more than one person you say خليكن so خليك stay in the imperative form if it's masculine خليك if it's feminine and خليكن if it's plural so خليكن بالبيت stay literally again in the house which means stay at home خليك بالبيت دخيلك now دخيلك is another very nice expression we use in Lebanese Arabic it's a way to say like please I beg you so sometimes we say it please don't do that or sometimes we say just please do it in this case the mom is saying like please don't go out دخيلك it's not a verb by the way and if you're talking to a guy you would say دخيلك here دخيلك and if you're talking to a guy you would say دخيلك it's such a difficult term to translate into English because it doesn't exist in English دخيل on its own by the way means outsider I don't even understand why we are saying here your outsider literally that's what it means but it makes no sense like that of course when you say دخيلك it's like you're saying like please don't do it or for example if I want to say to someone please come to my house like دخيلك if I need help, like if it's urgent help, okay? Or if somebody is going to break up with me and I'm being dramatic and I want to say, please don't leave me, I say, دخيلك ما تتركني, دخيلك, like please, okay? It's like begging, basically. So, لا ماما, خليك بالبيت, دخيلك. So here, when the mom is saying دخيلك, we understand she's not just saying please, but she's also worried. She's also worried about her daughter. So, please don't go out. بليها الظهر اليوم بليها بليها means without it here I'm using feminine بليها literally I'm saying without her بلا means without بليها means without her why? because I'm saying بليها الظهر ظهر means going out or outing it's a noun بليها الظهر written here الظهر without the going out but because the ظهر ضا is a sun letter I'm not pronouncing it no we don't pronounce the l here we have to pronounce it with a liaison literally you are saying without her or it the going out or the outing which means you can do without it just don't go out like baleha we say baleha a lot it's a very commonly used word to say like don't do it or you can do without it or avoid it it's a way to say just avoid it when we say we would be trying to change somebody's mind so for example if I'm worried about my daughter who who is going out and coming very late and it's very rainy today and I'm worried about her I say to her like without it tonight so we, you can do without it tonight or you, you can avoid it tonight okay so that's baleha baleha dahra and if it was a masculine word i can't say baleha i would say bale i would remove the ha bale without it baleha dahra without going out today which means don't go out today baleha dahra liyom liyom means today baleha dahra liyom bkhaf alayke tilat el virus aw shi bkhaf means i get scared alayke literally on you in arabic this is how you say i worry about you you say i get scared if we break this down it's actually which means on plus the k means you feminine we don't say in this case no we will pronounce it i scare literally i scare on you which means I worry about you and if you want to say to a guy I worry about you you say so 
if you're talking to one person, masculine. Pref alayke, if you're talking to one person, feminine. And if you're talking to more than one person, you say pref alaykun. Okay? Pref alaykun. I worry about you, plural. Pref alaykun or pref alayke or pref alayke. In this case, it's pref alayke. I worry about you. Pref alayke tulate. Tulate means you catch. In the feminine form, it's a verb. Tulat is masculine, tulate is feminine. And together here, I'm saying pref tulate. I worry that you catch. That's how you can translate it. Tulat also means hold. For example, if I'm holding the pen, I say, Ana bulat al alam. I hold the pen. In this case, I said Ana bulat, I hold. But Generally speaking, we, we use a participle, ana la tal alam, but that's another story. For now, know that ulat is I hold, tulate is you hold feminine, and tulat is you hold masculine. So when I say pref tulat el virus, I worry that you catch the virus. And as I said, in another context, it also means to hold. Pref tulat el virus, if I'm talking to a girl, and pref tulat. El virus, if I'm talking to a guy. And if I want to say it to more than one person, I say, I worry that you catch the virus. Okay? So, literally, I'm just saying, or something. In English, you say the same. Uh, or something, when you finish your sentence. I worry that you catch the virus, or something. Aushi. Okay, let me repeat this part. لا ماما, no mom. خليك بالبيت, دخيلك. Stay home, please. بلي هالدهر اليوم. Without going out today, which means like avoid going out today. بخيف عليك طلقت الفيروس أو شي. I worry about you that you catch the virus or something. I'm going to repeat one more time so that I can pause and you guys can repeat after me. لا ماما. خليك بالبيت دخيلك بلي هالدهر اليوم بخيف عليك طلقت الفيروس أو شي Okay, let's continue And now I'm gonna say to my mom No mom, let's go out يا ماما لازم أدهر شوي وشم الهوى المشي كتير مهم للدورة الدموية ولا نقوي مناعتنا يلا وما ننزل مع بعض منمشي تحت البيت شي ربع ساعة ومنطلع يلا Let me repeat what I'm saying here يا ماما لازم أدهر شوي وشم هوا يا ماما means mom Here you know by now from my previous videos that يا yeah means It's a way to say like hey mom It's not informal It's Something you can use in a formal and in an informal setting. Ya mama, mom, lazim udhar shway. Lazim, must, udhar, I go out. In Arabic, that's how you say it. Must, I go out, which means I must go out. Lazim udhar shway, a bit. Ushim hawa. This is a nice expression we use a lot in Lebanese Arabic. Shim hawa, or sometimes we say shimmil hawa. Hawa means wind. Shim means smell. Literally, you are saying smell the wind. Smell the wind. It's a way to say like catch a breath of air. But usually when I say shim al hawa or udhar shim al hawa, it's a way to say go out and change and uh, maybe uh, have a small trip, have a small walk or even have a small drive in the car and catch a breath of air so that's shim al hawa shim al hawa literally you're saying smelling the wind which is a nice expression so ya mama lazim udhar shway wa shim al hawa i have to go out a bit and catch a breath of air al mashi ktir mhim la dawra al damawiya al mashi walking in in arabic you say the walking in English, you say walking is important. In Arabic, here we are saying المشي, the walking, كتير مهم, very important. للدورة الدموية. 
دورة دموية If you look here in, in Arabic we wrote للدورة But again this دال here is a sun letter And all the words in Arabic that start with a د And have a لل before them You don't pronounce this ل here you pronounce it لَدَّوْرَة instead of لَلْدَوْرَة now if you say لَلْدَوْرَة that's fine it's not the end of the world but of course you would sound much more native if you pronounce it لَدَّوْرَة and that's why here when I write the English letters I write the phonetic representation of the word لَدَّوْرَة الدَّمَوِيَّة the same applies here to the word دَمَوِيَّة you see it starts with a sun letter which is the دَال and all the words that start with the del, as I said, we don't pronounce the L before them, il damawiye, even if it's written. Instead of saying il damawiye, I pronounce it id damawiye, la daura damawiye. Now, daura damawiye means blood circulation. Daura means circulation, and damawiye means bloody, kind of. But uh, if I want to say blood in Arabic, it's just dam, dam. So dam means blood, damawiye, bloody, or something like that. So basically, the expression blood circulation is daura damawiye, daura damawiye. So el mashi ktir mni hla daura damawiye. Walking is very good la daura damawiye for blood circulation. In Arabic, we are saying for the blood circulation. Ulan awe manaytna. ولن أوي منعتنا و means and لا means to نأوي means we strengthen منعتنا means our immunity لن أوي منعتنا so in English you say so we strengthen our immunity in Arabic we say um, so لا to نأوي we strengthen again نأوي is we strengthen منع is immunity mani'atna is our immunity so the na here in the end makes it our but the word on its own let me write the word mani'a ma ne a it finishes with a tamarbuta which is usually silent mani'a when the word is on its own i don't say mani'at no i say mani'a but because here i'm attaching the Possessive ending na, our, our immunity. Of course, I can't say mani'ana. I would have to pronounce this t, t marbuta. That's why we, we pronounce it here mani'atna. Lan awwe mani'atna to strengthen our immunity or so we strengthen our immunity. So le, let me repeat this sentence. Ya mama lazim udhar shway u shim hawa. Mom, I have to go out a bit and catch a breath of air. المشي كتير مهم للدورة الدموية Walking is very important for blood circulation ولن أوي منعتنا And to strengthen Literally I'm saying to we strengthen منعتنا our immunity يلا أومي ننزل مع بعض يلا come on يلا أومي أومي means get up أومي is in the feminine form and it's the imperative form of أوم أوم is masculine Ume is feminine and if I'm talking to more than one person in the plural form, what should I say? Can you guess? It's umo. It's always with the o in the end. So um masculine, ume feminine and umo plural. Get up. Yalla ume, come on, get up. Yalla ume ninzal. Come on, get up, we go down. Ninzal means we go down. Get up, we go down, which means come on, get up, let's go down. يلا أومي ننزل When I say أومي ننزل Get up, we go down we, I kind of mean let's go down And why do I say here ننزل? We, ha we assume that maybe those people live on the first floor Or on the second floor or in a building So they have to walk down So that's why they have to go down That's why we say ننزل أومي ننزل Let's go down And if I'm talking to a guy I would say أوم ننزل Let's, let's go down يلا أومي ننزل مع بعض مع بعض means with each other مع بعض يلا أمي ننزل مع بعض منمشي تحت البيت منمشي means we walk تحت البيت literally under the house تحت means under البيت the house 
شي ربع ساعة شي literally means thing but of course here I don't mean thing but I mean about about ربع ساعة which means about uh, 15 minutes شي ربع ساعة ربع in Arabic means quarter and ساعة means hour you're, when you say ربع ساعة literally you're saying quarter hour it means 15 minutes a quarter of an hour basically okay so منمشي تحت البيت شي ربع ساعة we walk under the house شي ربع ساعة about 15 minutes so in Arabic we don't usually say 15 دقيقة which is 15 minutes we prefer to say ربع ساعة quarter of an hour okay منمشي تحت البيت شي ربع ساعة about 15 minutes ومنطلع Wu means and mnutla. Okay, here there is a spelling mistake. It should be mnutla with a n. Wu mnutla uh, means we go up. We walk a bit and we come back up here. Basically, we can understand that it's we come back up. Okay. Yalla and the, and I'm saying to my mom here. Yalla, come on again. So I'm being insistent when I say yalla many times. Let me repeat this part. Ya mama lazim udhar shway u shim hawa. Repeat after me. Al-mashi k'tir mhim. Al-mashi k'tir mhim l-dawra d-damawiyya. W lan awwi mani'atna. Yalla umi ninzal ma' ba'ad. Nimshi taht al-bayt. Shi ribi' sa'a u minutla. Yalla. Guys, when you repeat after me, make sure you really pronounce the ain, the h, the ch, the r. Practice your pronunciation from now because if you do it now, it will be much easier in the future. For example, instead of saying sa, make sure you're saying sa. Okay. Instead of saying rib, say riba, riba. And here baad a. And here it's not manaitna, no, it's manaitna. Let's continue. And then mom, my mom says, Awlik? Awlik? You think so? Because she's talking to me, she said Awlik. But if it's masculine, if she's talking to a guy, she would say Awlak. And if she's talking to more than one person, she would say Awlkun. So Awlik, Awlak, Awlkun, which means, do you think so? But what does this word literally mean? If you look at the Arabic word, you will notice that it's written in Arabic as قول ق ق و ل قول قول means a say or saying. Literally, you are telling to the person here, أولك your say is it your say is this what you say basically? Which is why it means do you think is it what you say is it what you think? So, awlik, so when you say to someone, awlik or awlak, which means you think so? Yalla, let me continue. And then I reply and I say, Akid, ma biswan dal i'adin hek, kill nhar akil u television, lazim nitharrak shwe. So, akid, of course, akid, ma biswan dal i'adin hek, ma biswa. Biswa, it means. It is good for you or it's healthy for you. It's a verb, by the way. And when I say ma biswa, it's a way to say it's not healthy if we do this. Ma biswa. Biswa or ma biswa. Okay? Ma biswa ndal i'adin. Ndal means we remain. I'adin means sitting. Now here, if I break i'adin down, it's a participle. It comes from the word Aid. You see here in Arabic, it's written Aid. Aid literally means the person who sits, the sitter, basically Aid, and that's in the masculine form. Here I used Aidin, literally the sitters Aidin. You notice in is the plural form of Aid, the sitters, which means we sit down, we remain seated, basically. Ma biswa, it's not good or it's not healthy. Ndal, that we remain i'adin, sitting or seated, okay? Um, and if I'm talking to a guy, I would say ma biswa t'dal, you remain, ma biswa t'dal, and then I use i'ad without the in here, ma biswa t'dal i'ad. 
And if I'm talking to a girl, I can say ma biswat dalik or dalle. I can say both. Ma biswat dalle e'de. Okay, so that's how you change it into feminine. In this case, I'm talking to my mom and I'm saying we shouldn't be sitting like that. That's why I use the plural. I mean me and her, basically. Ma biswan dal e'adin hek. It's not good that we stay sitting or seated hek like this or like that. Kill nhar akalu television. Kill nhar all day. You notice here in Arabic again, I wrote it. Kil il nhar, but I pronounce it kil nhar all day. Kil nhar, akil, food, u television and TV. When I just say all day food and TV, which it means we've been eating all day and watching TV. And here it's kind of implicate, it's kind of means also that we are doing this every day. Kil nhar, akil, u television, we've only been basically eating and watching TV. But you're literally saying all day food and television, which means we've been eating and watching TV all day. Now, there is something important I want to tell you about. Here, when I say kilinhar, even if I'm not pronouncing it, there is a L, kilinhar means all day. But when I drop the whole L here, even in Arabic, the way I write it, when I say kilinhar, means every day, the meaning completely changes. So, kilinhar, pronounced, pronounced as kilinhar with a shadda, that's all day. But kilinhar, that's every day. And usually, instead of kilinhar, we like to use kilyom, actually, in Lebanese Arabic, which means every day. Lazim nitharrak shway. Nitharrak means we move. Lazim nitharrak. Literally, I'm saying must, we move, which means in Arabic, as I said, we must move, we must move shway a bit. And when I say move here, it doesn't just move, mean move, for example, you're moving from one place to another. No, you're doing movements, basically. It's a way to say you're moving your body, basically. لازم نتحرك شوي. We have to do some movements or we have to move a bit. Okay, let me repeat this part. أكيد, of course, ما بيسوى نضل قاعدين هيك. It's not healthy or it's not good that we remain seated or sitting like that. كل النهار أكل وتلفزيون. We eat and watch TV all day. لازم نتحرك شوي. We have to move a bit. I'm going to repeat it one more time so that you guys um, repeat it after me and check your pronunciation. Let's do this. أكيد. ما بيسوى نضل قاعدين هيك كل النهار أكل وتلفزيون لازم نتحرك شوي I'll continue طيب بس ما منطول كتير بعدين أكيد ما منقرب على حدا حتى الجيران منسلم من بعيد لبعيد Let me break this time this one uh, down, sorry. Tayyib, okay, all right. Tayyib, bas ma min tawwil ktir. Bas, but, min tawwil, literally, I'm saying we lengthen. Ma min tawwil, literally, you're saying we don't lengthen. And when you say we don't lengthen in Arabic, it's like you are saying we don't stay long. So you're literally saying we don't lengthen, but of course you, you don't mean we don't lengthen, you mean we don't stay long. Ma min tawwil. Min tawwil means we stay long. Ma min tawwil is we don't stay long. Ma min tawwil ktir, we don't stay long a lot. Ma min tawwil ktir. Tayyib, bas ma min tawwil ktir. Okay, all right, but we don't stay long a lot. That's how you say it in Arabic. You add the word a lot. But if you want, you can just say ما من طول. You don't need to put كتير here. But you can do both. طيب. بس ما من طول كتير. بعدين أكيد ما من قرب على حدا. بعدين means also in this context. Maybe you know the word بعدين as after. Okay. But in this context, it doesn't mean after. It means also. بعدين, also. I could have said here, of course, وكمان, okay? So, بعدين or وكمان. كمان means also. 
وبعدين or كمان أكيد ما منقرب على حدا you know now nobody is uh, approaching anyone else and we are minding our distances so that's why I said أكيد ما منقرب على حدا of course منقرب means we come close to ما منقرب is we don't come close to قرب comes from the adjective قريب uh, adverb قريب close close to قرب is the verb we close to that's how you are saying it in Arabic it's a verb so you don't say you come close to in Arabic you say you close to من قرب we close to أكيد ما من قرب of course we don't come close to or close to literally عحدا ع literally means on which means here to to someone close to someone حدا means someone أكيد ما من قرب عحدا of course we don't come close to someone which means anyone basically okay بعدين أكيد ما من قرب عحدا I think this is a very difficult situation for all of us particularly for people in the Middle East and in Lebanon because in our culture, we don't we don't mind each other's space a lot, and we come very close to each other. We are touchy people, and we hug, we kiss a lot. So I think this is gonna be difficult, and that's why I really hope the situation improves so that we we can all go back to hugging, kissing, and I think this is very important for all of us humans as well because. It's even our brains, you know, become more comfortable when we hug and when we touch people because we have serotonin in, in our brains. So I think it's a difficult situation, but hopefully it will pass. Okay? Yalla, let's continue. So, and now my mom says, حتى الجيران من سلم من بعيد لبعيد حتى الجيران. So here she said, ما من أربع حدا. We don't come close to anyone. حتى الجيران, even the neighbors. So jiran is neighbors, il jiran is the neighbors, and hatta means even, even the neighbors. This is exactly the same as in English. Hatta jiran, even the neighbors. So here I'm pronouncing it hatta jiran instead of hatta al jiran. But it's okay, you can also say hatta al jiran. Okay? Min sallim, min baid la baid. Min sallim means we greet. We greet, min sallim. Min sallim. Uh, actually, this is not separate. It's min sallim. I like to write it like that. Min sallim. Uh, we greet or we say hi. Min baid la baid. Min baid la baid is a very. Where's my other baid? Okay, it's fine. I'll write it down in English here. Min baid. Oh, it's here. Okay. So, min baid la baid. Literally, you are saying from far to. Far, it's a fixed expression and memorize it because we use it a lot and it means from afar, from far, from afar. When I say psalim, uh, I say hi or I greet psalim min b'id la b'id, it means I'm not approaching the person and I'm saying hi from afar, from far. But in Arabic you say min b'id la b'id. Okay, now sometimes also when we use this expression, it's also a way to say that you know you're being a bit formal with a person and you're not coming close to them so that's like you're keeping your distance so that's why you say and you can say I spoke to him I spoke with him which means to him from far to far which means from afar okay Yalla. let's repeat this part together I'm gonna repeat it and pause and you guys say it after me طيب بس ما منطول كتير بعدين أكيد ما منقرب على حدا حتى الجيران منسلم من بعيد لبعيد here I said we greet from far to far by the way if I want to be specific and say we're saying hi to who if I want to say for example we say hi to the neighbors I say منسلم عليون. Literally, you, you greet on people in Arabic. على means on and عليون means on them. من سلم عليون. We greet them or we say hi to them. من بعيد لبعيد. From afar or from far. Okay? Let me continue. And then I say to my mom, طيب. Okay, which means I'm agreeing. We don't come close to people. طيب. 
يلا قومي خلصيني هزت ريزك على القليلة من غير شوية جو طيب اوكي alright يلا قومي يلا كمان قومي means get up we said قوم is masculine قومي is feminine and if I'm talking to more than one person it's the imperative form I say قومو so يلا قومي خلصيني now this is something also we use a lot in Lebanese Arabic which is not so commonly used in English خلصيني literally you are saying خلصي finish خلصيني finish me when you say finish me it's like Come on already, like when I say خلصيني, it's like you are saying to the person finish me because I've been waiting for such a long time for for you to move. Like maybe I said this more than once to you and you haven't been listening and and I'm insisting and I'm saying come on already, yalla, خلصيني, finish me, like hurry up. It's also a way to say hurry up. But when I say خلصيني, I'm talking to a girl or to a woman. But if you want to say this to a man, you don't say خلصيني. You say خلصني. خلصني. Again, it's literally finish me. But of course you don't mean finish me. You are saying to the person, come on, يلا already. Okay? خلصني. And so, the perfect scenario, for example, to use this, because I'm always late, and my sister knows that I'm always late, and she waits for me, and I say five minutes, and then maybe later I say to her, okay, ten more minutes or something. In the end, when she's fed up, so basically when a person is fed up, they would say, خلصني or خلصيني, okay, finish me, which means, come on, yalla, hurry up. طيب, يلا, قومي, خلصيني, okay, يلا, get up, finish me. <laughs> Hizze teezik. Hizze teezik. Literally, I'm saying move. Hizze tease is bum. And teezik, your bum. Move your bum. Hizze teezik. When I say to someone, move your bum, it means, come on, like, move faster, basically, okay? So, hizze teezik. If I'm talking to a girl, and if I'm talking to a guy, I don't say hizze, move, in the feminine form. I have to say his. His teezak. Move your ass or move your bum, which means like move faster, basically, okay? Um, and if you're talking to more than one person, you say hizzo in the imperative form, hizzo tizkon, which means move faster, okay? And then I'm going to continue and say, عالقليلة من غير شوية جو, عالقليلة means at least, memorize it as it is, عالقليلة. من غير we change شوية a bit جو شوي or شوية both means a bit in this case when I say من غير شوية جو I have to say شوية I don't usually say من غير شوية جو no say شوية جو جو literally means atmosphere شوية means a little bit and من غير we change literally when you say we change a little bit of atmosphere Literally, that, that's what you're saying. من غير شوية جو. We change a little bit of atmosphere. It means we change our mood a bit, or literally you're saying we change our atmosphere. So it's 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 a good change, basically. So for example, if you've been sitting home all day and you go out for a walk, you change your mood. So it's a way to say we change our moods a bit. Okay. So على القليلة من غير شوية جو. At least we change. A little bit of atmosphere basically which means we change our mood a bit okay I'm gonna repeat this part and translate it then you can repeat after me طيب means okay all right يلا أومن خلصيني come on get up already or get up finish me which means faster basically هز تيزيك move your bum which means move faster على القليلة من غير شوية جو at least we change the mood, okay? Now, if you want to say it to one person, you say على القليلة بتغير شوية جو. If you're talking to a guy, بتغير, بتغير. And if you're talking to a girl, you would say بتغيري, okay? And if you just want to talk about yourself and you, you want to say at least I can change my mood, you say على القليلة بغير, على القليلة بغير. شوية جو. At least I change my mood a bit. Let me repeat these sentences and you can practice your pronunciation with me. Make sure to focus on the Arabic sounds and all of that. طيب. يلا قومي خلصيني. 
هزة تيزك ع القليلة من غير شوية جو By the way, finally, I want to say one more thing. Al alil means at least, and it comes from the word alil. Alil also means a little bit as well. Qalil in standard Arabic pronounced, but in Lebanese Arabic we pronounce it alil. Alil, a little bit. I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, as usual, I always tell you to leave them in the comment box below and I try my best to answer them as fast as possible. And this was a lesson, as I said, inspired by the quarantine and the situation we are going through. And I hope all of you guys are safe. I hope you are well surrounded, at least by your families and your loved ones. I hope you have enough food. And I hope this phase will go uh, soon and it will pass and we will go back to our life and maybe this time we will appreciate our life much more than we used to. That's it for today. I'm not going to turn my camera this time. I'm going to say bye to you from here. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.